Hi, I'm Dan Rosenstark with MIDI Designer, and in this video I'm going to talk to you about high precision sliders or high precision crossfaders, which are the vertical and horizontal versions of the exact same thing. Normally, when I go to dial in a specific value in MIDI Designer, uh, it can be difficult, especially if the slider is not tall, or if it's a crossfader, if it's not wide enough, it's hard to get the correct value. As you can see here, I'm struggling to dial in value 70 exactly. I can get it sometimes. Uh, now, as of 1.6, if I move away, if I move physically away from the slider on the other axis, I can absolutely dial in the correct value and further away is more precision. And this works if you've got 1,000 values, if you've got 127 values, whatever number you have, the further away, the higher precision it is. Um, so if you get closer again, it starts moving again. And this is advantageous especially for sliders like this one. Now this one is specific. If I go into design mode, design, double tap here, we can see that under advanced, it's send on release only. And this option means that as I move the slider, the values don't change until I'm dialed in. So I can really choose the value I want. Now I want to get to value 25, it's all moving around. As I get further away, I get more of an ability to dial that in specifically. No problem, 25, and there it is. All right, so that's uh, high precision sliders in 1.6. Uh, when the comments came back for 1.6, uh, users started commenting that they didn't always want that feature or they didn't want that feature at all. They had been used to working with MIDI Designer in a particular way. Uh, we've accommodated those users in 1.61, which should be coming out before NAM, so before the end of January uh, 2014. And in 1.61, there are uh, two places where we accommodate this. So the first is under more, config, and uh, options. And you can see that there's an option here for high precision sliders, okay? So uh, that's on by default. I can shut that off. And when I do that, I can override the option for any individual slider by going into design mode double tapping the slider, going into the advanced panel, and here I have force high precision as an option. So this will put it on again. So uh, you can have it uh, layout wide, you can have it just for one control or just for several controls as you wish. Lots of flexibility and lots of control with high precision sliders in MIDI Designer 1.6. Thanks for watching, thanks for your feedback and comments, and see you in the next video.